Hi, welcome to Framelines. This is Josh. If you're new to this channel, uh, Framelines is a street photography based YouTube channel that Shane Taylor and I run together. We're both photographers, we're obsessed with photography, and we talk about photography, funnily enough. Very quickly jumping in to make an exciting announcement. I'm really excited to say that Framelines is now sponsored by MPB. MPB is the world's largest online platform for used photo and video kit. They buy over 20,000 cameras and lenses every month from visual storytellers around the world. Trade in for the kit you want, from camera bodies, lenses and accessories. They've got what you need for the work you want to create. Let's talk about 28 millimeters today. 28 millimeters is probably my general go-to focal length and I wanted to kind of explain how I got to that point and why I like using it. For illustrative purposes, uh, this is what 28 millimeters looks like. So it's around around that. So I think when most people think about street photography with a 28 mil lens, they think of Gary Winogrand. Um, Gary Winogrand is definitely renowned as one of the most kind of hardworking and prolific street photographers that there has ever been. Uh, he traveled all over America just documenting life with a 28 millimeter lens. So there's a documentary about Gary Winogrand's life and photography called All Things Are Photographable. Um, Matt Stewart talks a bit about Gary Winogrand in the documentary and he explains this kind of concept of Gary Winogrand's dance and how he likes to include people's legs in the frame and uses them as kind of markers and compositional kind of techniques and uses them to make a picture more dynamic as it were. Um, I think this is something that kind of comes with using a 28 millimeter lens. You can include much more information in a photograph. Uh, I think this picture of the girls on the bench, for example, you've got all the kind of different gestures and their legs in a row kind of adding to the whole scene and the body language. Um, this famous picture of a kind of like sunny avenue in Los Angeles as well. Uh, just the way you kind of you capture the whole scene and you see everyone's like from head to toe. I think I love the way Matt Stewart describes it as a dance, as it were, in street photography. So, um, yeah. Gary Winogrand, obviously a huge influence on me wanting to use a 28 millimeter lens. Uh, for years, I just stuck to 35. Um, just kind of was happy with that, but occasionally did find that I wanted to step back and try and kind of get more of a scene into the frame. Um, I picked up a Ricoh GR2 a couple of years ago, had that for a couple of months because that has a fixed 28 mil, it's like a fixed 28 mil point and shoot if you're not familiar with it. Um, loved that, but didn't quite like the form factor. And then at the start of 2019, I picked up a Leica Q, which is also a fixed 28 millimeter camera. And yeah, I was just like, wow, okay, this is the focal length for me. I love the way with a 28 mil lens, you really just increase the chance of something random just appearing in the frame, simply because you have that extra field of view. You kind of open yourself up to kind of a bit more chaos happening. And then it's almost your job to try and make sense of the chaos and make it into a picture that doesn't fall apart because it's too much of a mess you know so that for me is the fun of using a 28 millimeter lens just trying to make sense of that chaos trying to distill whatever happens in the frame to a picture that is worth looking at i guess so yeah i have shot with the leica q pretty much every day for most of 2019 and i would just love shooting at 28 mil it's obviously Sometimes it's not hugely convenient having that kind of super wide field of view. Um, I did struggle with it when the light wasn't that good. It's definitely, for me anyway, a lens that lends itself to kind of shooting on the street in quite nice light. But um, yeah, then COVID hit at the start of 2020 and I kind of thought, I don't really need this right now. I can't imagine I'm going to have to be able to get too close to people. It's not really going to work. And I just kind of thought, I might as well sell it for now. Um, so I sold my Leica Q and then as London has been opening back up again, I decided to pick up a 28 mil lens for my Nikon D850 and just hit the streets with it and kind of get back into using a 28 mil lens.
So I stumbled across this guy doing a little mini photo shoot with his poodles. He had three poodles, he was posing them in Trafalgar Square. Uh, he seemed completely oblivious to me, so I took a lot of pictures. Um, yeah, I stood here for about 10 minutes just snapping away. Quite happy with this one in particular. I just like the ice cream with the dog. Just a bit of fun, you know. So these ones are actually a little bit of a crop, just because I was getting quite a lot of sky in the frame. Good thing with the high res sensor on the Nikon is you can crop in quite a bit. So these are more like 35mm field of view, I think. Mm -hmm. 